Hi again, everyone. Dr. Tom McNamara here for our course in College Algebra. In this video, we are going to discuss the concept of logarithmic functions. So the key ideas that I want you to take away are how to convert between exponential and log equations and how to evaluate log functions for some specific input values. So let me just give you an overview of what logarithmic functions are. Okay, and I've drawn this, uh, drawn this diagram uh, many times in our course so far. So this is to help us understand what a function is all about. So a function is some kind of rule that tells us how to take an input value and get an output value. So let's say our rule is exponential function uh, base 2. So that would take the input value of 3 and give you an output value of 8. And we've been discussing functions the entire course, right? And recently we've started to discuss the concept of an inverse function. And an inverse function is one that starts over here with the output and gets you back to the input. And that's what a log function is. So the inverse of exponential function base 2 is log base 2. So each exponential function has its own special inverse function. Okay, so uh, let me uh, give you some examples here. I'm going to make a table here. And on the left-hand side of the table, I'm going to put an exponential equation. And when I say an exponential equation, I just mean an equation that involves an exponent. And over here, on the right-hand side, I'm going to write the equivalent log equation. Okay, so the one we just saw up there, 2 power 3 equals 8. The equivalent log equation is log base 2 of 8 equals 3. Okay, so here's your exponential equation, here's your log equation. Notice, the log is telling you the exponent to use, and that's consistent with this diagram up here. The log base 2 function takes 8 as the input and gives you 3 as the output, letting you know if you want to raise 2 to a power and get 8, the power you need to use is 3. Okay, let's do a couple of other conversions here. Um, 3 power 4 is 81. The equivalent log equation is log base 3 of 81 equals 4. Okay, this is a true statement over here on the left. If you take 3 and raise it to the fourth power, you will get 81. You can check it on your calculator. And this equation over here is saying the exact same thing. I want to write 81 as a power of 3. What power should I use? Fourth power. The log tells you the power. Okay? And these subscripts here are telling us what the base of the exponential function is. We want to hit 81 using a power of 3. We use the fourth power. Okay? Uh, something like this here. 8 power 2 equals 64. Okay? The equivalent log equation would be log base 8 of 64 equals 2. Uh, let's do one like this. Let's start with the exponential equation. Or, sorry, start with the log equation and go and convert it to its equivalent exponential equation. Okay, so this is saying log base 4 of 64 equals 3. So the base of the exponential function always matches the base of the log. And remember, this tells you the exponent. And this guy over here is like the target for the exponential function. You want to get 64 as a power of 4. So this is saying if you take 4, power 3, you get 64. And once again, you could check that on your calculator. Um, how about something like this? Uh, 3 power negative 2 equals 1 ninth. Okay, we talked about negative exponents in an earlier video. So the equivalent log equation, log base 3 of 1 ninth equals negative 2. Okay, uh, let's do, I don't know, just one more. Um, 
let's say 36 power 1 half equals 6. Okay, the equivalent log equation is log base 36 of 6 equals 1 half. Okay, remember, that one's a little tricky. Remember, the base of the log is always the same as the base of the exponential. The output from the log is the exponent. Now, of course, we sometimes wouldn't write this particular equation like this. We might write it square root of 36 equals 6. Okay, if you remember what we talked about with fractional exponents, you know this is an equivalent way to write the equation that I started with. The one-half power is the same thing as the square root. Okay, so, if you don't take anything from this video besides how to convert between an exponential equation and a log equation and vice versa, you're actually good. This is a key idea when we are dealing with logarithmic functions. So, uh, let's do something like this. Let's evaluate some simple logs. Evaluate each. Okay, so uh, let's try this one. Log base uh, 5 of 125. And I'll, I'll, I'll and put a little blank here to indicate that's what we're trying to figure out. So we rephrase with an equivalent exponential equation. What do I need to put in the little blank there? to make this statement true. So what power do we need to put on 5 to get 125? Question mark. What power do we need to put on 5 to get 125? So let's think about the powers of 5 that we know. 5 to the first is of course just 5. 5 to the second is 25, 5 to the third is in fact 125. So if I put a 3 in that box, I get a true statement down here. And that's how I fill in the blank up there. Okay, let's do a couple more here. Um, let's do log. Uh, what shall we do? What shall we do? What shall we do? Log base 2 of 32 equals blank. Okay, so once again, we think about the equivalent exponential equation. What do I need to put in the blank to get 32? All right, and we think about our powers of 2. 2 to the first is 2, 2 squared is 4, 2 to the third is 8, 2 to the fourth is 16, 2 to the fifth is 32. So put a 5 over there and we have evaluated our logarithmic expression. So, if you're ever asked to evaluate a log without using a calculator, then it's probably going to be a, a nice whole number power of the base. Let's do a couple more. Uh, let's do this. Uh, 3. Log base 4 of 1 16th equals blank. So once again, we're thinking this way. 4 to the blank. 4 to what power equals 1 over 16? Now, we recognize 16 as a power of 4. It's 4 squared. So is there any exponent I could use that would give me a reciprocal like this? So we think a little bit about it. and We remember, okay, we know how to work with negative exponents just as well as positive exponents. base 81 of 9 equals blank. 
Okay, so once again, this is 81 to what power is going to give me 9? Now, I know a relationship between 9 and 81. I know that 9 squared is 81, but that's not quite what the question is asking. It's wanting me to do something to 81 to get to 9. Now, actually, I guess if I take the equation I was just thinking about, 9 squared is 81, that's kind of equivalent to saying this, right? The square root of 81 is 9. So, if we remember our work with negative or with fractional exponents, then we remember that there's a, a way to write the square root as an exponent, and it's one half. Square root is one half power, so this would be one half. Raise 81 to the half power, and you get 9, kind of coming right from this. Okay, so that's the basics of working with logarithmic functions. Okay, the key idea is how to convert between an exponential equation and its equivalent logarithmic equation.